Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John Shannon. We have another good lesson for you today, taken from the book of Acts chapter 12 and 1 Peter 3 and verse number 12. Uh, we call this lesson today, It Is No Secret What God Can Do. Thank you for being here today. God has smiled on us once again. It's happy to see all of you who are visiting. Thank you for coming our way. Thank you. I want to use a lesson this morning to encourage, encourage the Christians who are about doing the will of the Lord. Amen. How that God is in control. Amen. Amen. And makes no difference what the world may do. Yes, sir. But if we are connected with the Savior and doing his will, don't forget doing his will. Our text that Brother Dina read is from Acts chapter 12, 1 to 10, he read. But Brother Rico, I want you to put up verse 20 of the same text. I think I'm right. Um, you better go on down to verse number 22, maybe, or 23. We'll see here. Let's go on down to 23, on down to 24. That is right there. Now keep this one verse in mind. Just keep that up there. That a few things I want to say. Tomorrow will be my birthday. Tomorrow I will be 40 years old in the Lord. <laughs> I, I don't think you got that. I, I, I don't think you got that. It was 40 years ago on the first day of the week that I obeyed the gospel. Yes, and I am a little emotional, yes, sir. but God has been good to me. Yes, Amen. Uh, 40 years. Brother Petty, how was you 40 years ago? 25? He said just six years old. I think about it. Many of you here, Sister Mosley, Sister North Lake, were there when I, of course, Mert Harris and Ada, witnessed my baptism into Christ. And I am grateful that God had brought me this for 40 years, pretty, pretty good while, isn't it, Brother Fox? You were just a little boy, wasn't you? Well, I just asked uh, your, ne your nephew over here th this morning, <clears throat> I said, uh, you want to preach this morning? He said, no, 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 no. <laughs> well, you never can Amen. tell. Amen. I doubt very seriously if, I, if I'm going to be here 40 years from now. I may be. Mm -hmm. I may be, but I'll be mighty old. Amen. I'll be old, man. But it's a possibility that this young boy here, what is his name, Fox? Is that his real name? Niger. Niger Fox, that's good. He may be preaching. Right. Maybe some more here. Uh -huh. This is not in part of my lesson, but I just feel good about being in the church yes, sir. for 40 years. A long, pretty good while in the Kiki. You were just a little boy then, what? Rico, were you here yet? All right. I don't think my daughter was. She was here. Joe, you was a young kid then, wasn't you? Fourteen to fifteen, sixteen, somewhere along that forty years. Oh. Right. Oh, Joe said, "Don't tell everybody." Well, I, I, I'm glad that God used me Amen. 
for these 40 years. Yes, right. And I, I tell you what, a lot of, I don't like to brag, but I'm bragging. It's not brag, just facts. I have not missed one Sunday in 40 years. Are you bragging, Brother Shannon? No. Nope. I have not missed one Sunday in 40 years. Well, what, what happened? You ever sick? Oh, yeah, I've been sick. You, time you didn't want to go, a lot of times they didn't want to go. But I had to get it. What are you telling me this for? Anything you want to do for God, he'll provide a way for you to do it. That's if you want to do it. Amen. Is that good? Well, you still got that up there. Well, here's the, the, the story that we're going to talk about. The church was being persecuted by Herod. We in Acts 12. And God is watching Herod. Herod killed James with the sword. Herod put Peter in prison. Don't kill James. Yep, James is dead. But James is not going to stop the purpose of God. James is very important, but he's not going to stop the purpose of God. And when we go off the scene, we're not going to stop the purpose of God. Well, here's Peter. They caught Peter and put him in prison. They didn't kill him, but they intended to kill him. They went on and put him in prison. Now, in the text it talks about Easter, but that should be the Passover. Because of the Passover. Feast of unleavened bread. They wouldn't do nothing to Peter. Because of the ritual. Let me, let me just bring this out. People will, will treat you real good on days of ritual, but after the days of ritual, they'll kill you. That's what a lot of people in religion do. They listen to you on Sundays, you can't make a man. Try it on Monday. Try, try it on Monday. Boy, they won't only curse you, they'll cut you. Amen. Well, so Peter is in prison. Are you listening? The church couldn't do anything. Listen to me. You think the church was going to march against Herod? We're going to protest? No, you're not. You better get somewhere and pray. You, you didn't hear that, did you? You better get somewhere and pray. Rico, I, I want this as last one, but let's go to uh, chapter 12 and verse number 5. That's pretty good. I think that's it. Uh -huh. Y'all going to be with me? Stay with me now. I had an announcement since you let. Uh, uh, Peter, therefore, was kept in prison. Uh -huh. Where's Peter? Prison. Where's Jane? Dead. They plan on killing Peter, but God Almighty, I'm yes, gonna let it happen. Right. You know, I got thinking about it, Wesley. Do you know God used Peter yeah. to preach the first sermon yes, sir. on Pentecost? Right. Here's Peter in jail. They planning on killing him, but Peter's got to go to Cornelius' house. Right. Right. God ain't gonna let nothing happen to him. Right. Let me tell you something. When God has got something for you to do, don't worry about what men going to do. God will take care of you. But you hear me? Well, Peter therefore was kept in prison, but prayer. That's it, preacher. That's it. You pray this morning. You ask God to help you through the week. Prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. Yes, sir. 
What him? Peter. Remember this now. They didn't do like the people in Memphis and in America. Get some signs and march around. Let Peter go. Let Peter go. Sit in. It wasn't none of that. Because back then, if you did that, they, they'd quit. You, you march, that'd be your last march. It had no sign. And we need to learn this as a church. Brethren, when problems come, they don't sit in protesting with the heathens. Pray to God. Yes, Ask him to help. Amen. Pretty good. Oh, what happened? They prayed. God heard and answered that church prayer so quickly until it almost scared Peter to death. He didn't know what was that. He maybe this is a dream. And Rhoda came to the door and she said, oh, what is it? It ain't Peter. Peter's knocking on the door. They in there praying. Peter's already out of prison. What happened? God Almighty. Yes, sir. Boy, how about that? That's a, that's a part. Go on down, Rico. Watch it. Go on down here. Wait a minute here. Go on down, Rico. Wait, let's stay right there. And look, look at here. And when Herod would have brought him forth, uh, the same night Peter was what? Can you sleep when you're in prison? <laughs> Wait a minute, he went up to on the floor. He's sleeping. Brethren, when problems come and you done turned over to the end of law, go to sleep. You can't do nothing about it. Go on to sleep. Watch it. Between soldiers bound with chain and the keepers before the door kept the prison. And behold, the angel of the Lord came unto him and, uh, and a light shined in the prison and he smote Peter on the side, arise and rose him and said, uh, saying, arise up quickly. And his chain fell off from his hand. There's a lot of chains in life. Right. To keep us from doing what God want to do. You may not be able to move them, but God can move them. God can move stuff that you can't move. Do, can I get a witness this morning? Anybody in the house besides me? Anybody praying with me today? Well, let's see what else happened. And the angel said unto Peter, Girl, thou self, and bind, uh, bind on thou sandals, so he did and saith unto him, Cast thou garment about thee, follow me. And he went out and followed him, and wished not that it was true which was done by the angel, but thought he saw a vision. Well, let's go a little further. And when they were passed through the first and second ward, they came unto an iron gate. Oh, I wanted to get that in there. Iron, I-R-O-E. Is that right? G-A-T-E. There are some iron gates that's standing uh, in the front of James Road because a lot of people don't want to see us evangelize. You better hear me. A lot of my own brethren don't want to see us on television. Talk to me, somebody. There's some iron gates out there. Iron gates has got to be moved. And you know what, brethren? I sleep at night. Do you worry about it? No. I have an iron gate, even Joe, with the TV station. Sometimes they won't even put us on at the right time. And think they're stopping somebody. Won't put us on, but they have Bellevue on. Talk to me, somebody. But God is in control. What you going to do? Go down there and show out? Oh, no. I'm not going to show. I don't have to show out. Why? God is in control. Do you believe God is in control? Let me tell you something. We're just sitting around. Word ourselves to death. 
What we need to worry about is just do what God say do. Right. He'll take care of the rest. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I want to get that in. Well, Brother Sandler, what is your subject? Rico, put that back up there. Brother, don't forget this. No, put the 23 or 24 up there. I want that up there. Look here. After all of this, Peter got out. Herod came out of raging. Worms ate him up. God, that's God doing all of this. Right. Then it says, but the word of God grew and multiplied. Brethren, listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. Brothers, our job is to make sure that the word go forth. Right. Wait a minute. We missed that right. in churches of Christ. The older people who didn't know what we knew know now, they propagated the law. Uh -huh. They preached and God blessed them. Right. Brethren, we need to get back to preaching the gospel forcefully. Right. Don't worry about anybody. And when I read this, Boy, oh, I tell you what, I, I go this tall, man. Why? Because God is in control. Right. Who's in control? I don't worry about nothing. Why? God's in control. Well, that's good, isn't it? All right, why? Why in the world are you going to get Peter out? Because Peter got to go to Cornelius. What? Peter got to go to Cornelius. Can't nobody else. God got one man to go to Cornelius. Who is it? Peter. Well, he's in jail. What we gonna do? Pray. Y'all, look, you won't help Brother Shannon out. Pray. Right. Amen. Live right and pray. Yes, sir. Amen. Ask God to give me strength. Amen. I hope I got another 20 years. Amen. Yes, sir. Good mind. I hope I got it. Amen. Pretty good. Now, from this, what we just talked about, my subject is, and hey, put this up here. Oh, Carl, you wanna see what's up here. Yes, Catania want to see once this. What does he got behind his cheek today? <laughs> Wait a minute. I want y'all to say that. Is that pretty good? Can y'all see that? He said, will you repeat? It's no secret what God can do. Oh, boy. Let's stop it. Let's do it again. It's no secret what God can do. Can I get a witness in the house? God has brought us all the way. Somebody brought us a long way. No, he brought us all the way. And he's still with us, right? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Now watch this now. Uh, the church, uh, persecution of the church. That's what it's all about here. That's that pretty good. That, that, that's, that's the problem. Persecution of the church. Look here. Listen to this here. Who's this said? God is in control. That, boy, that's good. That's good, isn't it? Let's, let's do that again. God is in control. Oh, boy, 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 boy. God is in control. Yes, sir. Now, now, let's look at this. We're going to do it a little different. I started to go over here, but you, you, you got the bulletin now. We're going to deal with that. We'll see how it was organized, how it was obstructed, yes, sir. and uh, then how uh, it was overthrown, and then we'll see the outcome. Yes, I just went over that with you. But it's something else I want to bring. I want to bring another lesson with another outline from the same text. Are you still with me? Still with me? Now watch this here. We're going to use 1 Peter chapter 3 and word number 12. All right, pretty good. Y'all with me? All right, Brother Fox, you got it up there? Let's look at it. Let's read it. For the eyes of the Lord. Holy. I got some big eyes. <laughs> Wait a minute. He got some big eyes. Yes, sir. He sees everything. Yes, sir. All the time. Yes, sir. Never go to sleep. Yes, sir. Eyes of the Lord. Eyes of the Lord. When Peter and James dead, Peter in prison, don't you think God didn't see that? Yes, sir. Talk to me, somebody. God saw it. And let me just bring it on home. God see exactly what you are going through with right now. He knows exactly what you're going through with. He knows. Do you trust him? Job said, though you slay me, 
yet will I trust him. Do you still trust God? When, look, wait, wait a minute. There's a lot of gates that, that people are, are, are closing on us. Wait a minute. Somebody said they done shut the government down. They ain't shut God down. They ain't shut God down. Don't worry about the government. You need to do what God say do. Shutting, shutting the government down. Let them shut it down. Guess what? You can't shut God down. Paul said through him and in him we live, move, and have our being. Can't shut God down. Who do you trust? The government or God? Somebody said, I depend on the government. You better be careful. You better trust God. Because he don't ever shut down. Amen, somebody. Eyes of the Lord. Watch it. Look, look at that. Eyes of the Lord. Look at it. He watch it. He knows the problem that you have. Everybody, wait a minute. But, but listen here. Somebody said, I want, I want to live a long time. You do? Why do you want to live to get 90 years old? Why? Just to say I live to get 90? Wait a minute. Why do you want to live a long time? If it's not to do evangelism for the Lord, what's the reason? Right, right. We missed that. Right. We miss it. Amen. James Road Church of Christ. What is our goal? Evangelize for the Lord. Yes, sir. What? What is our goal? Our goal is to spread the gospel to the world. Amen. And brother, let me tell you something. This church is doing it. Amen. Every one of us got a part in spread. Well, you need to listen. People all down in Jackson, Mississippi. Vicksburg, talk to me. Yazoo City. Can they hear, they see this church spreading the gospel. Somebody said, well, Jane Road don't have no money. What? God has got the money. Right. He got it right here. Right. Some of you won't give yet, but you keep coming, you start giving. Right. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. We don't listen here. We, you know, I got a buddy that watched the television program. He said, I just knew John Shannon was going to get on there and, and ask y'all to send an offering. Hmm. So he said, I didn't hear you say nothing about money. I said, man, he listened to the whole program. His whole attitude changed toward me now. Mm -hmm. I said, well, he said, man, you didn't say nothing about money. I said, I'm not interested in your money. Amen. You think God wants your money? God trying to help, God wants you to be saved. Amen. I'm not on TV preaching about y'all send some money to help us. No! Amen. That's what the church that's why God give Christian money right, right. so they can support the cause. Right. And when you don't do that, that's on you. Right. Preach, Brother Shannon. Amen. 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 Yes, Amen. 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 What? Things need to be done. After these 40 years, I found out it ain't none of my church. It's the Lord's church. Right. And when people go to acting crazy, I say, God, your people are acting crazy. Right. Amen. 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 Your people don't have come to church. Lord, give them a little time. Yeah. I'm not here to condemn anybody. Right, I want to bless you by preaching the word to you. Yes, and sir. if God can give you some more time, I can too. Yes, right, I'm not condemning anybody. Amen. All of us got some problems. Yes, sir. And we are, all of us need the help of the Lord. Yes, sir. Amen. Right. I want look here. Somebody say, I'm not doing quite right. Keep coming. Yes, don't stop coming now. That's right. I'm doing pretty good. He called me the other day. Helen said, we need to see you. I said, how you feel? I said, I feel fine. She said, don't make no difference. Come on in. Let us check you out. <laughs> you feeling good? Somebody said, I don't have no problem. Keep on coming to service. Because this kind of preaching, yes, it's going to help you out. Right. Right. You may say, well, I don't want to do it now. But just keep coming. It's going to help you. Right. It, wait a minute. It's going to help you. Right. Like castor, when you first taste it, it's nasty. But keep on, keep on taking it. It'll clean you out. The gospel a little hard on you, but it'll clean you out. It'll make you better. Talk to me, somebody. It'll drive sin out of you. Amen. It, it, the gospel will humble you down. The gospel will have you where you won't look down on people and think you're better than they are. 
I'm just going to hit him. In. A lot of preachers need to hear that. Right. A lot of elders, a lot of members need to think we're looking down on somebody. Right. All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Right. All of us come out of the junk, y'all. Right. Right. All of us. Something wrong with all of us. Right. Amen. 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 That's pretty good. Well, eyes of the Lord. Oh, I like this. Eyes of the Lord. Read it, Fox. Are uh, over the right. Ho, ho, ho. Righteous people. Eyes of the Lord over the right. What do you mean righteous people? All the righteous people that God know about today is in the church. Right. Oh, Christ. Yes, Wait a minute. What you say? All of the righteous people that God know anything about are those that's in the church of Christ. Why you say church of Christ? Because that's written. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. His blood makes us righteous. Yes, sir. His blood brought to one church. And nobody can be righteous without the blood of Christ. Well, if the blood of Christ brought the body of Christ and you're in the body of Christ, that makes you righteous. Right. That don't mean that you're sinlessly perfect. Right. But God has got a system of righteousness yes, for those that's in the church. Right. So when you mess up, all you got to do is ask God to forgive you. Watch it. Uh, confess and amen and repent. Amen. Repent, confess, and watch it. Not baptize. Pray. Yes, Baptism has never been for the people in the church. Right. Baptism is not for church folks. Baptism is for folks outside of the church. Yes, Why? Because they're not righteous. Uh, if you're not in the church of Christ, you may say, I'm living right. All the living good you're doing in the world can't help you. Right. Right. And do you no good at all. Because there's nothing in the world can take away your sins. Right. The only thing that takes away your sins is the Lord Jesus in his church right. by his blood. Right. That's when you get in the church, you're righteous. Right. Now, what do you mean righteous? Guess what you can do? Read it, Fox. The eyes of the Lord where? Over the right. Read. And his ears. Wait a minute. He got big ears. What do you mean? He can hear folks in Memphis, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. And he can hear them in Egypt. Yes, sir. What? They, wait a minute. You can't hear that good. <laughs> you, you can't hear that good. Now watch this here. Don't think one time that you have to say it out for God to hear. Right. If somebody says he praying, but he he I can't hear. Well, it ain't for you. Right. But God here. Right. Wait a minute, he, he got some big ears. Look, is that what it said? The mm -hmm. eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, uh -huh. and his what? And his ears. And his what? Ears. He got eyes and ears, not like ours. Mm -hmm. He got eyes that penetrates. Yes, he can see anything that's going on. He even knows what's going on in your mind right, right. now. He sees your heart. He sees your doings. Then his ears are open. What? His ears are open unto their prayers. Well, who's praying? Wait their a prayers. minute. Don't even try talking about praying to God and you're not in the church. You know, a lot of people don't know that. People are ignorant. They have a thing in Memphis. Uh, one of those City Council have a, a prayer breakfast. Right. You have a what? Prayer breakfast. Prayer breakfast. The prayers ain't getting out of the building. <laughs> God don't hear and answer sinner's prayer. Right. What are you praying for? How in the world, how in the world a baby gonna pray for something before it's born? Right. And, wait, wait, we got any women in here pregnant? They don't want them hands up now. They ain't here. No. They don't want to talk that no. But look at when you were carrying your baby. Monique, when you was carrying your baby, your baby couldn't ask you for nothing Amen. until she was born. Amen. You can't ask God for nothing until you're born again. And you're born again. When you get in Christ, you're a new creature. Then you can pray, our Father. But until then, you're praying for what? You don't pray. I see people sometimes, see people are really ignorant. They don't know no better. They, they don't know any better. Somebody said they took prayer out of the school. It ain't never been in the school. Prayer's always been in the church. I said they took prayer out of the school. Somebody said they're trying to keep us from praying. I mean, I can't keep me from praying. I 
I know what they're talking about, public prayer. I know what they're doing. But God don't hear and answer sinners' prayer. The eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears are open to their prayers, or their cry. What? Well, wait a minute. If you're not in the church, what are you praying to God for? Turn, if you would. Rico, can you do it? Uh, Galatians 6, Galatians 4, verse 6. Look at this. i to make this point. Galatians 4, verse number 6. Is it good preaching? Amen. Somebody needs to know that. Amen. Amen. Somebody said, I prayed to God. He did. Yes, he did. He did. Well, somebody said, well, who would God hear? God would hear those that hear him. Right. Wait a minute. Good, what? God will hear those that hear him. Look what he said. Look. And because ye are mm -hmm. sons, God has sent forth the spirit of his son in your heart whereby you cry, Abba, Father. Abba, Abba. Abba, Father. What do you mean? You can call God when, because you are a child of God. Right. Now, if the children of God got the privilege to pray to God, the Father, through Christ, if the people in the world got the same privilege that we have, why be a child of God? Right. Right. Wait a minute. If the world got the same privileges that we have in Christ and in his church, why be in the church? Right. Everybody wants something for nothing. Somebody said, well, our brother just retired from FedEx. He retired, right? Here I am saying, look here, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm expecting a check. Well, my brother got one. He were, I just went to FedEx one time. I know Fred Smith. You may, but he don't know you. Right. Somebody said, I know the Lord, but he don't know you. Right. You're going to pray. You, do you expect a retirement from FedEx and never work there? All right. Wait a minute. Let me tell this again, Mike, for your daughter. She never heard this. Here was a guy walking out, just walking up and down the court. Ship dog that went, so man, what are you doing? This guy over here had been drinking, and he was telling them, Brother North Lee, man, you just drinking all the time. You don't have no sense at all. So the, the guy was drinking, said to the guy, he said, What are you doing? He said, I'm waiting for my ship to come in. And the drunk said to him, Did you send a ship out? He said, No. He said, Well, don't look for one when it comes in. <laughs> Amen, somebody. Look here, you ain't made preparation to go hear God. Why should he hear you? God, if you're not in the church, you can pray. Let me tell you what it's like. It's like a guy talking on a cell phone and he's been cut off. He just, he just rapped. Rap, 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 rap. He, look here. If you could hear that phone, it's silent. He going through the motion, but he ain't connected. And until we are connected in Christ, God don't hear our prayer. And then in the church, if you decide to live a sinful life, God won't hear you either because you're not behaving. Amen. Huh. Eyes of the Lord. And his ears. Open to what? Prayer. Read it. Read it. Go, go back here. I'm to recode there. Oh, he, he's going to put it back there. Eyes of the Lord are open. Let's go back up there. Here it is. Read it, Fox. For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous. Read it. And his ears are open unto their prayer. Their prayer. Wait a minute. Do you want God to hear your prayer? In the church, start living right. In the church, when you're having crisis, don't start living wrong. Right. Because that's going to cut off your connection with God. Right. That's the worst thing could ever happen to you right now right. is to be cut off by God. He won't even hear you. Boy, you mean to be lost that? Is your battery down? What do you mean? You got a cell phone, but your battery is down. If your battery is down, that means you don't lost some connection. You don't lost your power. When you sin and won't repent, guess what? God cut your power off. And you walking around, watch this here. Even when your power off, 911 won't work. <laughs> I had to throw that in there. 
Look at you. Look at your power wall. I've been hitting 911, but ain't nothing happened. Ain't nothing gonna happen. Why? The power has been cut off. And when God cuts you off, you can't can't get a prayer through. Amen. But God gonna take care of us. Look here. Eyes of the Lord over the righteous. Did they pray? They pray. Brother John, they pray. They came together and pray. Watch it. And what else? And his ears opened their cry. Now, boy, watch this here. The enemies of the Lord. What was the enemies? Herod and all those folk who were persecuting the church. The enemy. Who is our enemy today? There he is. How many of y'all had problems with him last week? Amen. You had problems with him? Don't have a problem with him? Did he give you a fit, didn't he? You know, you know what he'll do? He'll turn your own people against you. He'll have you fighting, carrying on. Let me tell you what this rascal do. You know what he does here? He'll have you making, you can make good money. And guess what? Half the money you, you, you make, you have to put it on security to keep what you got. Now watch it. Watch it. The, the, the devil liked that in Just think about it. All the stuff you have. And when you better lock it up. You better lock it up good. What? Yep, they'll steal it. Won't they steal? The devil got some children out there that steal it. And some of God's people are working with the devil's children. They'll receive stolen good. Ain't no good. Look here. L listen here. Hey, look at it. One, look here. You one or the other. You straight or you crooked. Wait a minute. Look here. You can pretend like you straight. If people mess with you long enough, they gonna find you out. You crooked. Crooked people. No good. And this rascal here has just got my people, my black people. Oh, mister. Yes, sir. Come on, somebody say amen. You know what? We don't like to talk like this, like this about our black people. You know what? We are our biggest enemy. Yes, sir. Don't, don't even try talking about the other people. Don't even try. Amen. That, no. Most of our communities are like this. Crooked. Crooked. Ain't no good. Crooked. Somebody need to say, and I'm glad this is going on YouTube. Because my people need to hear that. Everywhere I go, I see them. They crooked. Always stealing. Trying to do something. Trying to undermine somebody. Try to trick. And you know what? You ladies need to watch them. Ain't no good. Amen. Don't leave your car running with your baby in there. You may not find it. <laughs> crooked. And who needs the gospel? We need it. Amen. Don't we need the gospel? Yes, sir. Now, if all these other preachers preach it like I'm preaching now. All these different churches. You got all these churches in Memphis. Why you got so much crying? Right. Apparently, they, you know what they're doing in these churches? They're just having a party. They, listen here. They got that band going. They got that band going. Guess what? Got them girls singing. And some of them, they do, they do better than Ray Charles. Uh-huh. I was, I was in a play yesterday. Them girls were singing. I mean, that girl was singing. I had to watch myself, Michael. That foot wanted to get it. <laughs> boy, that music had you jumping, boy. It would get, let me tell you something. You can't, let, you can't handle that stuff. No. But that's what they like. They don't care nothing about it if it's right or wrong. Why? Because Saturday night, they heard the music on Saturday night, and the guy was on the organ watching at the nightclub. He come over to the church. <laughs> that right? Guy brought the parlor pair at the church. He walked in. He said, "What are you doing at the parlor pair?" The parlor pair said, "Same folks, same folks, same folks." 
Shut up, same folks. Hey, man. Brother, we are different. We are different. We can't do that stuff. A lot of members of the Church of Christ would like to turn the Church of Christ into a nightclub. Because all these other churches, that's all they are, are nightclubs. Right? And when you get in there, you're going to spend some money. When you go to these nominations of churches, guess what? They can preach in a way that you put all your money in there. I wish I had that ability. Try to make these folk put all their money in. But when you teach people, that no right from wrong. Right? He's our enemy. Right? Eyes of the Lord over the righteous. His ears open to a cry. But what? But the face of the Lord what? is against them that do evil. Are you following the devil? Doing evil. Evil stuff. You know, I've talked long enough here. What is our goal? Take, take the gospel. Are you involved in spreading the gospel of Christ at James Road? Somebody, brother, saying I can't preach. Can you pray? Yep. Can you pray? Yep. Can you participate? Yep. Well, just do that. Do that. Just do what you can. This is somebody said, brother, saying you're pretty hard. I don't mean to be hard, but we're on the same team, and we got a we got a mission. What does it mean? Take the gospel to the world, and brethren, I, I want to encourage you to keep doing it. Keep coming. Don't oh, don't stop coming. Don't don't stop coming. Oh, you're gonna learn something. I'm encouraging you. Don't stop coming. I wish I could get all these other preachers and congregation on board. Amen. We turned Memphis upside down. Yes, well, I'm going to plan on doing it before I leave here. We're going to stir it. We're stirring them up. Yes, we're stirring them up. Oh, yeah. Joe, I walked in there yesterday and some of your colleagues said, yeah, we see y'all on television. Yes, sir. Hey, that little old guy is there. Yeah. Good, hey, man, I can't go places there and I said, yeah, I, I know who you, you preach to that church down there on James Road. You the, you the guy, you the guy. You the guy with that good hair on your head. I said, boy, look at him. I mean, he bust me out, boy. I said, Lord, have mercy. Watching me, boy. But guess what? They listening. They are listening to the gospel. Hey, man, somebody. They're listening. Brother North League, they're listening. Had a lot of folk down there yesterday. They were they listening to the gospel. Amen. Brother Dina, did you hear the gospel on before you obeyed it? Right from this church. And there's some more out there. What'd you say? It's some more people that's gonna obey the gospel. That's, see the way I'm preaching, brethren, you can't be going somewhere acting crazy because the camera's on you. They say, hey, don't you go to Jane Road. What you doing with that cigarette in your mouth? What you doing at this nightclub? Right. What you doing cursing like that? Right. Amen. Right, preacher. All right. I, the Lord, over the righteous, is here and over to their prayer, but the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. Mm -hmm. What is our goal? Put it up there. Rico. Look at this. Got to close out now. Evangelism. For the Lord. But the word of God grew and multiplied. Yes, sir. Listen. Listen. Why did God get Peter out of jail? Because the Holy Spirit was guiding Peter in the all truth. Right. You think God got him out of jail so he could go home and just lay up and do nothing? Oh, no. Peter went out preaching. Right. right? Anytime God deliver us from anything, God is delivering us to serve him. Right. Don't forget that God is delivering us to serve him. Amen. What do you mean serve him? We serve him, watch it, by worshiping him properly. We serve him by doing evangelism. Jesus said go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believes and is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be damned. Are you here today? The spirit and the bride says come. And whosoever will, let him come and drink of the waters of life freely. Somebody said I want to I want to I wanna serve God. I, I, I want to wanna be a part of the church. Well, you can be a part of the church, but not on your terms. Right. Well, what do you mean? You can't join this church. Right. First of all, there's something you must hear. You must hear and believe the gospel. The death, burial, and the resurrection of Christ. 
his ascension into heaven. He bought and built, listen, O-N-E, one church. Watch, it's not physical, it's spiritual in character. And the church of Christ is in Christ. And when you're baptized into Christ, you're automatically in the church of Christ. You got to hear that gospel and believe it. Acts 15 and 7. You must repent of your sins. Here's the problem. What is the problem? People want to be saved, but they want to be saved the way they want to be saved. Nobody can be saved until after they heard and believed the gospel. And repentance is what really used it. Hurt us. Because nobody wants to change. Nobody wants to change. You got something you're just going to have to give up. Some things for Christ, you're going to have to give up. Right. Some things you're going to have to give up. That church not in the scripture, you got to come out of it. All that dancing and clapping they're doing, you got to come out of that food. Watch that, amen. And guess what? And these folks that got all that stuff, that's what they're doing. That's the entertainment. Right. That's it. Who, who's singing? You got a organ and a piano, guitar, drums, and a little section here. They got the people jumping. And the people out there, they just clapping. Yep. Brother, when we come to worship God, everybody sings. Right. Amen. Not just some little group. Right. Right. Sing praise to God. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. After you repent of your sins, confess with your mouth your faith in Jesus. What do you say? I believe Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Are you saved? No. Jesus said, he that believes in is baptized shall be saved. You mean tell me Jesus won't save me until I'm baptized? And what did he say? What? Won't save you until you have to be baptized. What? Well, what does baptism got to do with it? Well, that's what did he said do. Well, it don't make sense. A lot of things don't make sense to me. A lot of things. I could never figure this out when I was a boy. Had an old cow. Springtime come in. The cow would eat green grass. Get white milk and yellow butter. I can't figure that out today. I don't try to figure it out. What did you do? We just listened here. Fed the cow the grass. We milked the cow. Then we chewed it and got the butter. Well, what did you do? Enjoy it. I just enjoy it. When I was milking that cow, I couldn't see the butter in there. I couldn't see it. I couldn't see no butter nowhere. I, I couldn't see no, I, what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. Solomon says, surely the children of milk bring forth butter. I, I tell you what, if you take pure milk, let it clabber, and it's chewing, yes. just keep chewing it. That butter going to come. Is that right? right? The pure gospel of Christ won't make but one church, and they're all Christians. Yes. When you chewing milk, you get butter. Not margarine. Butter. The pure gospel, when it's preached and obeyed, one church, Christians. That's it. That's it. Jesus said, go preach the gospel. He that believeth is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be damned. Are you here today? You remember the church of Christ? You have gone back into the world? Come on back. Come on back. Rededicate your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. You may be here in the audience and say, I'm a member of the church. But I've been weak. I need prayer. The Bible said the effective fervent prayer of a righteous man will fairly much. Might come on up. Are you here today? Spirit in the bride says come. Would you come right now? Together we stand and sing. We certainly hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Thank you as always and God bless you.